the corpus delicti. That is charges in court. This is what you get when the hobos pejoratively hobnobs with the hobgoblin. The import duties by Ghanaian government has made Ghanaians dolorous, languid, langorious, and in a financial comatose. The government had intrepidity and temerity to introduce this endemic and autochthonous import duties to Ghanaians. And this import duties is emanating with financial lobotomization. But I pray this does not ignite into a glamorous remonstration and political imbroglio. Ghanaians have been bamboozled, razzle-dazzled, and razzmatized politically and economically for a long time or for donkey years. And if we do not take a reasonable step to meander all these conundrums politically in the country, the ship of Ghana state or the ship of Ghana political state I can see it hovering around Bermuda Triangle. And if you not take it easy, it is going to, it's going to perish in a pestilential aqua at Quam. If you look at the penurious and the, and, and the, and the, and the penurious and the parsimonious masturbation of our country's economy, even even when push come to shove, the dilapidation, the obliteration of our currency put the, put the country in this area. But country Ghana right now is in a political hog Mondugo's way. And the only time these are numerous politicals. Or if you can call them politicals, tyrannous, have no problem on socioeconomic low matters. Also, Ghanaians are tired of NDC, MPP, Hogo Mondugo's way. Enough of their political somnambulism, so political hiki haga, and the political kubu the cock. Until our leaders change the way they think, Ghanaians are not going to cut out in the apoho. May God bless everyone. Thank you.